So at the start of the film we see a happy family. In which there was a couple and they had a daughter named Cinderella. They spend a good time together and they love each other. Their house was in the mid of the forest. It can be anyone's dream house. As the days were passing Cinderella's mother was getting sick. She was sick because of a disease and she was about to die, she calls her daughter. She says to her that I will be not with you but don't forget the things I taught you. Take care of everyone. Stay happy I will be not with you in the world, but I will see you from the sky always. Then after some time, Cinderella's mother dies. It was sorrowful for them. Cinderella's father takes care of her. Now Cinderella also has grown elder and time was passing, for Cinderella her father was everything. In fact, for her father his daughter was everything. But suddenly one day a lady comes to their house. She was a widow and she has her two daughters with her. That lady and her daughter seem rude to Cinderella. At first, she wasn't happy with her father's decision, but she knows that her father supported her. He spends many years alone. She also tries to adjust with them. One day, Cinderella's stepmother arranges a party. In which all were dressed up in glamorous dresses. But Cinderella thinks her dress is simple. Cinderella also has some friends and those were animals. Cinderella goes to them, and then she comes to know that her father is going out of the city. He will return after some days. Cinderella's father meets her instead of meeting his new wife. He loves her and asks her to take care of herself. Cinderella's stepmother sees all this. She becomes jealous and now she just wants the chance, that when Cinderella's father goes out, and she can take revenge on Cinderella. As her father goes they snatch her room from her. She gives her room to her daughters. She says to Cinderella that you will live in the storeroom. Cinderella also calls her animal's friend there. She wasn't an egoist even she was happy in that small place. But still, Cinderella's stepmother doesn't spare Cinderella. She makes her do a lot of work. Then one day there's news arrive at Cinderella's house, that her father is no more on his way he faced some problems, due to which his condition gets worse. Hearing it, Cinderella was in shock and she becomes sad. That now the behavior of her stepmother will be worse with her. But it didn't affect the stepmother in fact, she was happy. That she will rule this huge house, she can do whatever she wants. Because she got married to Cinderella's father for this. To rule his property and his money. For her only money matters. Because of it, Cinderella was scared, that now her stepmother and her daughters will rule her. As the days were passing they were oppressing Cinderella. That lady hand over the responsibility of the whole house to Cinderella, while terminating all the servants. Cinderella does everything, washing clothes, dishwashing and even cleaning the house. And in the end, she even doesn't get the fresh food. The weather was getting cold and, Cinderella was feeling cold in the storeroom. She thinks that she can sleep in the kitchen at least there is fire. One day, Cinderella goes to the forest on her horse. Her horse loses its control and runs speedily. A prince comes there and saves her. They start talking. They become good friends, but without telling her name Cinderella comes from there. As the prince reaches his palace he meets his father. He wasn't feeling good and his condition was worse. He asks his son means the prince to get married soon. I want to see your bride in my life. The prince says to his father okay as you say. The king says that we will arrange an event, the prince says why not, but I will not select my bride like this. You will invite all the ladies of the country no matter poor or rich. Then I will select from them, in fact, the prince likes a girl. She was Cinderella but the prince doesn't know her name or place. This was just a way to find out Cinderella. While inviting the ladies, now the date of this event was announced. Cinderella also hears the announcement. She was excited to go to this event. Reaching home, she tells this to her stepmother. But her stepmother ignores her and asks her daughters to get ready. She was a greedy lady. She only wants to see her daughters with the prince. Cinderella feels bad and when Cinderella sees, that she will not be taken to that event and she doesn't have any dress. She goes to her room and starts making a dress for herself with her animal friends. It was her mother's dress and she just grooms it. Finally, a beautiful dress is ready. Now Cinderella was coming out while wearing that dress happily. But her stepmother gets jealous seeing her and tears her dress. 
Cinderella becomes sad and starts weeping while sitting near a pond outside. When she goes to the backyard there she meets an old lady. The old lady suddenly turns into a young lady. She says to Cinderella that doesn't be sad I am your fairy godmother. I will help you, their fairy godmother changes things with her magic. She turns a pumpkin into a carriage in which Cinderella will go there. With it, she makes her pet animals her servants. Now it was the turn of Cinderella's dress, so, the fairy godmother makes her dress beautiful. Ice blue color and gives her crystal shoes to wear. Those were obviously made of glass. After it, the fairy godmother cast magical spells on her, due to it, her stepmother and sisters will not recognize her. Now Cinderella sits in the carriage and moves to the castle. The event was started in the castle, Cinderella becomes happy reaching there. And the prince was pleased to see her, because he was waiting for her. The people present in the castle see Cinderella. The prince calls Cinderella forward and they dance together, Cinderella's stepmother and her sisters weren't recognizing her. Because of the fairy's magic and now while dancing they come to a different place. They come to a secret garden none have come there before. That was a beautiful garden and there was a swing in it. The prince makes Cinderella sits on the swing and swinging it himself. During this, Cinderella's shoe gets off the prince makes her wear the shoe. He asks that you are so beautiful, where were you before? Can you tell me from where did you come? Are you a princess? But before Cinderella says something she realizes that it was about to 12. The fairy godmother makes her beautiful, after 12 she will come in her genuine getup. Everything will be like before. Without saying anything to the prince, she runs from there. When she was coming out she meets the king on her way. Cinderella says to the king that your son is a good person. The king also talks to her nicely. But he couldn't talk to her more because of Cinderella moves from there. Everyone was thinking that who was that girl who came and went like this. When Cinderella was going downstairs her shoe falls. She instantly sits in the carriage. The prince was also chasing her he was trying to stop her. He picks her shoe from the stairs. His soldiers chase Cinderella. Because it was the prince's order to get Cinderella to me. The animals of Cinderella who were the servants they drive the cart speedily. Because the soldiers were also behind them. Then the servants of Cinderella close the door in the way. After it, they move forward and they become like they were before. The shoe of the crystal remained the same yet. The prince was having its second shoe. From there, Cinderella walks. Then she realizes that her stepmother and sisters are coming behind. She immediately goes home and hides the shoe. She writes everything in the diary that happened today. Because she was happy and these moments were unforgettable for her. On the other side, we see that scene of the castle, the king was about to die his condition was worse. He calls his son and says that you can search for that girl and you can marry her. I like that girl. Saying this, he dies. Now the prince announces that the girl who came to my castle that day, I have her one shoe. If she shows me the second shoe, and the show I have if it will fit in her foot I will marry her. But before Cinderella reaches there with her shoe, her stepmother got that shoe before. Without giving a shoe to Cinderella she comes out of her room. She locks her in the room. Going downstairs, she gives the shoe piece to the special man of the king that shows it to the prince. She has done this so that her daughters will get married, to the prince or any other good person. That man comes to the prince and says that I got this shoe but couldn't find that girl. The prince says that how is it possible? Gather all the girls of this city, try this shoe in everyone's foot one by one, and when it will fit in anyone's foot bring her to me. But this crystal shoe is made for a delicate foot. This shoe wasn't get fit in any girl's foot of the village. The foot of every girl of the village was checked. Even it wasn't get fit in the feet of Cinderella's stepsisters. Cinderella was sitting sadly in the storeroom. Her room's window was opened by a bird and, at that time, Cinderella was singing. Her voice goes down where the soldiers of the prince, his captain and his special man were standing. The captain of the prince says that I am listening to the singing voice of a girl. Is there anyone else in your house? Cinderella's stepmother says that no only two daughters of mine lives here. But then the prince comes out in the getup of soldiers, and he says to lady calls that girl. Cinderella comes down and the prince was happy to see her. He makes her wear shoes from his hands. He says to her will you marry me? 
Here Cinderella agrees and they get married. Cinderella moves from her house, because she was going to the palace with the prince. While going, she says to her stepmother and sisters that I forgive you. And we know that Cinderella will stay happy with the prince. With it, here is the happy ending of this movie.